Oh, oh yeah. Dude, he's taking off. All right, we're in a tree and I got a big fish on. Well, these lampreys are. And that's why this one, I feel like we have a better chance catching here because it's not. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have finally made it. All right. All right, we're ready? Yeah, I got snacks. You, got, you bring your waters? Yeah, I got water. Okay. Yeah. I got some stuff. Well, happy leap year, everybody. Hey, you got Alex right over there. And man, I am so glad to be out here doing some skinny water floating. This is my first one of the year. I've been wanting to do this so bad. I actually been wanting to do it for a week or two, but I've been sick. And I'm finally glad to get out. Alex messaged me last night. He's like, you fishing tomorrow? Two minutes later, we decided to fish this river. Now, we, were, we had planned to do something else. And then it's muddy downstream, so we had to make a change. But it's like 1130. We're out here. He's already hooked up on one. We're looking for some aggressive uh, early early spring bass here. So the water's looking good. Let's get to it. I can't wait till everything turns green. Man, I love it. Everything turns green. Yeah. I just, it feels so weird when it's not green now. I was like, man. The places he's picked out, it's really nice. I, I would love to, all of them are awesome places. Nice. That's a pretty fish. Okay. There he is. Look how pretty that one is. See how long he is, but he's long. jumped in the water and swam under the kayak and as he swam under the kayak his like his back hit the kayak he like lifted me up and set me back down Goodness. it was crazy i was like god i didn't realize these things were that strong yeah. get him buddy is that a fish yeah Dang. i don't know if he had a hold of it all the way Wasn't real hard of a bite, but yeah. Yeah, I've been needing to just get out and do a full day of fishing. Yeah. So funny how the difference between now and probably probably 30 days from now, how much more life will be going on in here. Sunfish and little bass and just all kinds of different things. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just go to the bank over here. It's going right into that tree. 
No, <laughs> I'm gonna get over here. I ain't doing that, not today. I know my limitations. That's one of them right there. There he is. There he is. There he is, buddy. Good job, man. Oh, wow, he's a good one. Good one? Yeah. Get him, buddy. Get him, John. Get him, John. A big, big one? Oh, uh, no, nah, but a good one. Good job. Woo! Got my right, right. I was like, "There's got to be." If I'm just like slow rolling that thing, just trying to get a bite. Yeah. Be careful here. Heck yeah, buddy. Good job, man. All right. Uh, finally got mine on there on the spinner. Yeah. First bite. Well, I think I missed one earlier, but that's the first one I had, and he. He held on to it. He, he got it pretty good, too. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Good work, buddy. I mean, when we find one that wants it, they want it. That right there is what it's all about. Man, <laughs> we, we're like halfway into the trip. I finally get my first fish. It was just under 16 inches, but we got a cool little slow-mo release. Uh, we've had a little adventure. It's been exciting. Couple almost flips. Yep. Current's flowing pretty good. That's why it's a little sketchy doing this early in the spring. I just, I'm not as comfortable as I would be a month from now. Yeah. But, um, but I know this river. I've been down it a few times, and um, we're doing pretty good. So hopefully we get out some more fish. Oh yeah, that's probably is a good little bit. Yeah, let me do that. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Let me jump in here and talk about the sponsor of this video today, and it's something that I really want to share with you that I'm so glad I found out and started using. Now I keep a kayak in the back of my truck pretty much all the time, no matter if I'm gonna use it or not, I almost always have a kayak in there, sometimes two, sometimes three. Now there's a lot of ways you can strap a kayak down and a lot of different straps you can use, but I found out about Strapino straps and they sent these to me to try out and it really has made loading and unloading my kayak a little bit easier and a little bit simpler, which putting it in and out as much as I do, anything to make it easier is gonna help. These straps are some heavy duty self retracting straps where it just, you don't have to worry about the other end of the strap, what to do with it, where to tie it off. Um, when you want to take it out, you just pull it out and then hook it to whatever you want to. I love that there's a hook on the end um, with a clip, pull the strap out to whatever I need. It cinches up the extra part. The other end's got a hook on it and then you just strap it down. Well, I'm glad I got these straps now, and it's something I'm definitely gonna be using and recommending to other people. And I wanna thank uh, Strapino and thank them for sponsoring this video. Of course, I'll leave the information if you wanna you know, get some of these yourself and uh, try them out, see how they do, because uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Let's get back to the video. Looks so good, looks so good. There we go. Got him. Another good one. Yeah. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, he's been cut before. That's a nice one. He's got a broken, uh, he's got a broken gill out. Does he? Yeah. Man, these guys. I've been missing these river fish. Man, they're so strong. Oh, he's got some uh, little whiskers or something sticking out of his uh, belly there. I've been eating them crawdads. We're gonna get a quick measurement and I'll get him back in the water. Wrong side. Don't wanna get sucked down this drain. Close my 17, oh, he's almost touching 18. 17 and three quarters. That's a good bass there. All right, let's get him back in the water. Got a little crawdad whisker. He's got a, he's been caught or something. He's got a, um, you can see he's got a, 
one of his gills is broken, but he is good, healthy fish there. On the old Berkeley. Yeah, they just, they're just grabbing it and just like holding on to yep. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a lamp right on it. Get him, buddy. Dude, he's a. This is a big one. He is built right too. Oh, the lamprey came off. Dude, that's a freaking joke. This dude is thick. Look at that. He's <laughs> built right. That's awesome. I was just telling Alex, um, we got a tournament. We're fishing Saturday on the lake, and I, I probably won't catch a fish any any close to these size that I've the three here caught today. There he is. 18 and a quarter. Yeah, that's a that's a solid one. Alex says he's gonna weigh three pounds. 2.99. <laughs> yeah, there's a three pounder right there. That's a big old river bass. That's that is a good one. Let's get him back in. Look at that. Three pound spot. I'll take those any day. Well, that wasn't too much longer after that fish. And I, I'm just, I'm being out for talking. I, like, if we were if we were here, and it's probably two or three weeks from now of warm weather, it'd, it'd probably be probably catching twice as many fish. But we might not get the bigger ones. These are some big fish that have been biting. I think Alex has already got two over 18. There's my first one. It's just fishing slow, and that is the main thing. So we got to... I don't think we got much more to go, but hopefully we can pick up another fish. I don't know what river it goes to next, I don't remember. But that's, that's another thing about this river, like, it just, it, it gets muddier and muddier as it gets downstream. Oh, oh yeah. They're eating. Dude. Oh my good, holy cow. He's taking off. All right, we're in a tree and I got a big fish on. Let's see if we can spin him around here. Another lamp right on him. Oh my goodness, this one's bigger than the last. He's got two lampreys. Ah, oh, now they're in my kayak. Ah, woo! Well, these lampreys are, I, I'm used to catching them, especially in this river in the springtime. Um, they're, oh, they, 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 they'll usually fall off. They're, they're fish, right? That's a fish, isn't it? I should have hooked one on a hook and throw it out there. All right, they they fell fell off, but look this this poor fish. He's had several lampreys on him. Look at that spot right there. But I mean, they're they're really healthy, and they're not invasive. The lampreys aren't invasive or anything that I'm aware of. This one, oh, he's not as um he's not as long. Well, yeah, he is. Another 18 incher, probably another three pounder. Look at that gut. It's wild. I, I, what I started doing was I go in even slower on the spinnerbait, and I think that's been the biggest difference. Take a look where these lampreys have been on this fish. That gash right there, that's probably from one. And there, there was there was the other one down there, so. Look, he looks, or she looks healthy though. Whew. That, that fish was pulling me around. Let me go over my setup real quick. I changed out spinnerbaits. The first, this first spinnerbait was on a smaller one, and Alex gave me this one. This, what is this called, Berkeley? What's this called? Just a Berkeley spinnerbait? Uh, Powerblade. Powerblade, and we are both using um, no trailer because we were trying to get it a little deeper. We both talked about that. Um, they're kind of, 
seem to be really following it slowly. But once they decide to eat it, they are just eating it. But they're not eating it right off the bank like you'd normally catch them. So we're fishing slow pace, kind of slow rolling that spinnerbait in. And most of the bites are 10, eight, you know, six, eight, 10 feet off the bank before they decide to hit it. So I don't know if they're, the fish are sitting out further, or they're falling it from the bank. But, um, I, dude, I was like, I took me a couple hours to get my first, and I got three in the last uh, probably 30, 40 minutes. This, this, there's so many different fish that come up in here in April and May that's like, uh, it, it doesn't even look the same river. There'll be gar and buffalo and, and just bass all over the place. You'll be catching all kinds of like, that's crazy to be like, we haven't caught a, a 10, we haven't caught a small bass. That's, <laughs> there ain't been a little one. Well, I really ain't even stopped for snacks today. I was kind of focused on fishing but I'm gonna eat a little candy bar. Um, we, we probably only got another 15 minutes and we're gonna be done. Then we gotta run back. Of course, get something to eat after this. If I take away the first half of the trip, the second half, I've caught three really good fish. But, and then Alex caught most of his in the first half of the trip. when you don't fish out of these things for a little while, I'm telling you. There's fish in shape. And there's kayak fish in shape. And then, there's creek fish in shape. These are young people. Let's go all over this. Guys, I tell you what, I needed that trip. That felt good. I was going to say we didn't catch a ton of fish, but... I actually catching, I caught three really good fish. I think Alex caught four or five. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Alex messed me up, making fun of my, I'm coughing like crazy. So uh, hopefully this goes away soon. Spring is on the way. Um, this was a kind of like a scouting trip. I've been wanting to float here. Thought we'd catch a couple fish. Um, didn't think we, I didn't know if we were gonna catch any or not. So that was a really good day. <coughs> I, I well, forget give me that TB boy. I'm passing it around. Yeah. But, yeah, I appreciate Alex being uh, flexible and um, he like caught them the first half of the day. Yeah. Then I ended up catching mine like later in the yeah. day. Yeah. But it was it was fun. It was a good trip. Good it thing good I trip. took one of his spinner baits and that actually led to my two biggest ones. So yeah. I'll take that any day, especially on the last day of February. Um, we can't wait till like weather next few weeks. It's just going to get so much warmer yeah. usually, and these fish just really turn on. So that's when I'm really looking forward. A lot more skinny water floats. Thanks, Alex, for coming. Let's go get some Mexican.